It's been the longest period of respite for Yemen after seven years of war. The country's warring parties will renew its existing two-month truce that was set to expire on Tuesday, announced UN envoy Hans Grundberg. This truce extension includes a commitment from the parties to intensify negotiations to reach an expanded truce agreement as soon as possible. The extension falls short of a proposed six-month renewal of the ceasefire. Both Yemen's internationally recognized government and the country's Houthi rebels disagreeing on certain demands, mistrust running deep. Yemenis say they want the truce to lead to lasting peace. I hope that the truce will be an opening to direct negotiations for lasting peace that restores stability. People are suffering greatly. A truce like the previous one is useless because it's neither war nor peace. Yemen needs a truce. The already four-month-old truce came into effect in April this year, after the capital Sana'a was seized by the Iran-aligned Houthi rebels in 2014, forcing the government to flee. In 2015, a Saudi-led coalition intervened to try and restore the government to power. Washington welcomed the extended ceasefire, which they say has brought Yemen unprecedented calm. We're grateful for the leadership of Saudi Arabia throughout this truce process, as well as the Sultan, as well as for the Sultan and leaders uh, of Oman, who have also played an important role throughout. These five months, which may not sound like a lot, but when you're talking about seven years of war and thousands and thousands of Yemeni lives, it counts for a lot. More than 150,000 people have been killed during almost eight years of fighting in what the UN says is the worst humanitarian crisis in the world.